Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leos, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that we're going to be uploading a video that is going to speak about the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. If you're interested in seeing how that's going to affect your sign, um, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, let's see what's going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2020 in regards to love and romance. Oh, we have cards popping out already. <clears throat> All right, we have the Five of Wands, Three of Swords, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Chariot card. Okay. Okay, so these are cards that uh, jumped out. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation of feeling nostalgic or looking to the past. For some of you guys, there is a feeling of like fears taking over your relationship or the connection of the person you're dealing with. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you feel like this person is not wanting to commit. Um, now, this could be vice versa, Leo. It is a general reading. Um, but I definitely feel that there is, there's been some waiting here in this connection. Um, for some of you guys, it could even represent like hoping or wanting the partner to change. Um, with the Page of Wands, you know, this is um, changing certain behaviors. With the Three of Swords, you know, this is talking about trying to change an individual that is uh, has a tendency of either running towards um, running towards temptation, having um, the need to step out of the relationship. Now this could be energy that you're dealing with or it could also represent going to the past and kind of reopening that womb oh, that wound only to um, to analyze exactly what went wrong in that situation or in that partnership. However, uh, we do have here the Knight of Cups and the Chariot card. So I feel that this is an old cycle for you guys. Um, with the Chariot and the Page of Cups here, I do see new, sorry, Knight of Cups. I do see new love coming in for you guys. Um, now this could be dealing with a new person. This can also represent... Uh, for some of you guys that you're currently in a relationship uh, and for some of you guys, uh, things from the past are coming back up. So it could represent like uh, the partner doing certain things that are kind of like sounding the alarm uh, for some of you guys, like here we go again or a feeling, feeling like it's a pattern of something that you've been through in the past. But what they're telling you here is that there is a renewed type of energy. For some of you guys, this could be new love coming into your life on this coming full moon. All right, I'm going to put them back in and see exactly what's going on. Okay. All right, spirits, what are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for this month of December 2020? Please give me cards that represent Leo and how they view the situation and the partner and how they're viewing the situation with their Leo. All right, let's get into it. So you have here the world card. Yeah, so there is an ending cycle. Um... This is the third card that I pull out for you guys where we see the moon. So I feel that there is um, there is an ending cycle that's coming for some of you guys. This could represent new beginnings. Uh, travel may be involved here. Now the next card is the Page of Cups. So there is definitely love around you, Leo. The Knight of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So for some of you guys, it could be a situation where... Um, you were dealing with a partner or a person of your interest where you felt like there are certain traits about them that they just can overcome or they weren't mature enough uh, to bring the stability that you were looking for in this relationship. Uh, with the Page of Cups, uh, there was a connection there. There was emotional, uh, emotional connection there. However, with the Knight of Wands, I feel that um, 
the way you're viewing the partner or the person, they could be actually acting like they're single. And this could be why the Three of Swords came out for some of you guys. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a singlehood card. Now, for others of you, if you're dealing with a new energy, uh, you're viewing the person, they definitely sparked your interest, but you're viewing them as a little too, a little too self-independent. You know what I mean? Like, they give you this vibe, like perhaps uh, they've been single for quite a while and they're not going to quickly jump into a relationship. So you're seeing them a little bit stubborn or for some of you guys questioning or wondering if they're even interested in you, um, which I feel that they are. I just think that uh, they could come off a bit standoffish, a bit cold, only because they've been through the ringer as well when it comes to relationships. They are comfortable in their singlehood um, and they're happy. So it's almost kind of that feeling of like, I have to really, really like you in order for me to give up this freedom. Now, how they're viewing the situation, we have the Angel de la Nut here. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah, so they're definitely interested in you, Leo. I feel that they really want to put effort in this connection. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, they are definitely looking at you as a as a partner that can really make them happy. I feel that uh, they see you very they see you very grounded. They they see the value in you. With the Ace of Swords, I feel that they're going to be um, really being vocal about uh, what they're feeling uh, or what their feelings are, especially if you feel like. At this point, you don't really know exactly what's going on or if they're feeling you or not. They're def there's definitely going to be a conversation here where they're going to want to pursue you uh, more actively. They're going to be letting you know exactly where you stand with them. Now, the reason why... Okay, so what they're telling me here is for some of you guys, the cards that first came out could be a representation of past and passing energy. So what that means is in this connection that you're currently dealing with and dealing with the person that could be very independent or you yourself, uh, Leo, if you've been single for quite a while, you've become self-reliant, self-independent. You don't really, you, you don't feel like you need anyone, um, which is a great thing because you're learning to love yourself and depend solely on yourself, which is amazing. That's self-growth. But at the same time, what you're doing is you're setting the bar extremely high. Now, there's nothing wrong with having high expectations, right? Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it gets to the point of being a little bit toxic, almost like I'm going to test you to see if you go through these hoops and these, you know, jumping and going through these hoops to prove yourself to me, then that's when we are vibrating from a low vibration and it's coming out of fear, out of fear from past experiences. So you have to understand that every person that you're dealing with is not out to hurt you or to deceive you, Leo. Um, and, and it's time for you to uh, let go of past traumas or past hurts um, because I feel that this new per for some of you guys, this could be a person that you're going to be dealing with in December. But this person, this new energy that's coming in, we have nothing but newness down here. And these are the cards that are representing them. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that uh, you just started talking to or you will be talking to and dealing with in the month of December. But I feel that they're going to be very straightforward and to the point. They're definitely going to, they're willing to put that effort to prove to you that they are interested in you. But make sure not to overdo it over test them um even playing mind games be careful not to do that because i feel that this person is being genuine and authentic the way they're coming to you with the ace of pentacles this is a very grounded type of energy they're not looking for games with the ace of swords however uh this could be a very straightforward person it is a type of energy where i'm not going to deal with bullshit because i'm using my head not my heart so again don't play games. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to tempt 
uh, this connection because I do see that there is definitely a uh, promise for something amazing here. Now, for others of you guys that, uh, you know, dealt with this situation where you're currently in a committed relationship, but someone did step out of the marriage or the relationship uh, and you're trying to renew or you're trying to fix it, what they're telling you here is do not resist the changes that are coming into your life. And this is very connected to changes in regards to love coming around you, okay? Sometimes we just cannot change a person's behavior and it is not up to us to change how they are. They should want to put that effort themselves. That's where you self-actualize. But if they're not willing to do that, don't allow these opportunities to pass you by just because you're holding on to something that you've been holding on to for years and you don't see any changes. You don't see any movement or any progress for the better. All right, Leo, so let's see what Spirit's direct message for you is for this month of December 2020 in regards to love. Okay. We have six chakra here. Okay. So I feel that for some of you guys, divine timing is at play right now. So I'm going to break it down for you guys to make it a little bit more. For those of you guys that have or are currently in a relationship and you're dealing with a situation where the partner has a tendency of acting like they're single, if you sit there and wait for this person to change, you're letting time pass you by because you're not being or feeling completely fulfilled in this connection. However, I do see new energy coming towards you. I do see love or opportunities for love around you. But again, if you sit there and wait for a person to change, time is passing. Time is unforgiven and it's something that we can't rewind because things didn't pan out the way we wanted to. Now, for others of you, that have been single for a while and you went through the trenches and you went through difficulties and they've hurt you, maybe even deceived you at some point in the relationship or there was uh, mental or physical abuse. Um, now is the time to release that. You're not releasing or forgiving the person for what they did to you. You're forgiving them for the sake of you to be able to pull away from that energy and no longer embrace that low vibration or no longer embrace that pain and hurt that was done to you. You've outgrown that. You've become empowered. You have know your worth now. You know exactly what it is that you deserve. And that's amazing. But don't be so guarded that you don't allow love to come in, that you, don't, that you keep people at a distance because if you keep pushing people away right and this could be the testing that they were talking about you keep pushing them away in 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 a distorted way for them to prove to you how much you mean to them well you can only push them too far and then you're sitting there upset that they don't want to put effort anymore well guess what you kind of push them away so what they're telling you here is divine timing is at play right now. For some of you guys, this could be your spirit guides. This could be your angels around you. Sorry, you guys. <clears throat> My voice keeps going out. Um, angels around you trying to guide you to your happiness. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight. Um some type of clarity i want to wish you guys happy holidays i hope you guys are staying safe i wish you the very best uh leos and we'll see each other soon mm, bye